right guys, welcome back. Today I'm in my car for just a few minutes and then we're gonna go home and see my very large grocery haul. I don't know if you can see or not, but you can see the bags piled up in the very back of my car. I did a large grocery haul today because I've been on a no spend January and I know January's not over yet and I'm spending, but um, I did a good three weeks worth of no spend and I, I did a really good job at that. Learned some things. Yeah, so today I, I just felt like I needed to get, get some things bought and replenish things that I've used because not only are our prices sky high right now, but our, our availability is, is not that great in my area either. Um, off and on we've had shortages of one item or another and then next time I go to the store I can I can find it plenty you know um, but it seems like anymore the past couple of times anyway that I've ordered online so many items are out of stock out of stock out of stock there were no chicken breasts there were no thighs no drumsticks no chicken parts at all available everything was out of stock um, I was able to get two whole chickens. I did get some hamburger and it really hurt my heart. <laughs> I paid six dollars and something a pound for um, 90 90 percent lean. I just wanted to come on and let you all know I, I, I do see food shortages in my area. So I would encourage you all to pay attention in your area how your grocery supply chain is working. Make sure you have what you need. Be prepared. That's that's just the best the best thing to do is be prepared. So anyway, I'm gonna get us drive us on home, and then I will be showing you my haul and something else. I'm gonna um, try to do is I'm gonna try to write the prices of everything on my on my items in my grocery haul. I've noticed that some of you all do that. You, you tell us what you pay for items and I've been finding that very interesting because some of you all are paying much less for items than I am in my area and some of you are paying a lot more than I pay for certain things in my area so I thought well that might be fun to um, show you all what I'm paying for my grocery items here in southern Illinois so I will be doing that in this haul as well so all right I'm going to let you go and drive us on home and see you in a minute with my haul. Okay, everyone, I made it home and here's our haul for today. It's a big haul. I've got stuff stacked stacked up pretty high on the table. Um, I guess we'll just jump in and go around the table. Now, this over here is wrapping paper where I still have a few gifts I need to send out. So... Um, We'll just start here at the table with our produce, I guess. I got a package of celery that was $1.39. Two heads of cabbage, $2.46 a piece. Three, gram pe excuse me. Three green peppers were 77 cents each. I got a large bag of carrots for $3.44. There were no canned carrots to be had when I placed this order last night. Um, okay, frozen corn. I got three bags of frozen corn for the freezer. Totino's pizzas for quick lunches. I got a bag of sweetened coconut flakes because somebody has a birthday this week and he likes coconut cake. Okay, I got ground beef and I'm very disappointed. I had ordered a 2.25 pound package. I ordered three of those. And I only got a one pound package times three. So they shorted me on my hamburger. Three pounds of hamburger is not enough for my family. I paid $6.41 a pound. So I will be repackaging that into smaller packages to make it last longer, hopefully. Okay, I got sour cream. I got two things of sour cream at a dollar each. The only chicken I could find were whole chicken. A dollar for a pound. This one's a little over six pounds. This one's almost six pounds. So what I will do, 
I will roast these chickens in the oven and then I will debone and chop up the meat for casseroles and things like that. Okay, I got several canned goods to replace what I had. The only uh, great value green beans they had were the no salt added. So I got six cans of those at 50 cents a can. I did get a package of hamburg or excuse me, hot dog buns for 88 cents. Um, where to put them, where to put them? I'm so crowded here. Okay, I got four cans of peas and carrots. And I did get Del Monte because that's the only carrots I could get in a can. I think they were $1.28 a can, but I'm not positive. Seasoned butter beans. I got six cans of those because we've used quite a few and those were a dollar a can. I got the great value pasta sauce. And it was, I think, $1.18 a jar. I got four of those. I'm trying something different. Fried apples with cinnamon. Thought that might be fun to try some recipes with. I got two boxes of beef broth. I got four cans of El Paso, Old El Paso red enchilada sauce. And each of those cans was $1.88. That price has gone way up. I got six cans of sweet peas at 50 cents a can. I got Thai coconut milk. I use this in my curry. I did not mean to get light coconut, so I hope that's okay. And it was $2.46 a can. That also has gone up quite a bit. I got Chef Boyardee spaghetti and meatballs. I got six cans of those at $0.94 cents a can. I got 20 pounds of rice because we use rice a lot. 20 pounds of rice was $8.48. Powdered sugar because we've got that birthday coming up next week. I'll be baking a cake. I got downy for $6.94. I got my laundry detergent for $12.60 and I get the large one, 128 loads. I got Brent two packages of the tea that he likes for work. Okay, I got a package of bagels, cinnamon raisin bagels, and they were $3.48. Sara Lee honey wheat bread. And I got a package of toilet paper. There are also two Dr. Pepper, two cubes of Dr. Pepper, and they were $9.76 each. 10 pounds of potatoes in this chair, and they were $4.97. I'm gonna go back around the table. Peanut stuffed pretzel nuggets, those are good. And then I saved the container for pantry storage. I got Nutty Buddies for lunches and snacks. Oh, I just stepped on the kitty. She won't be liking me. I got diced ham for seasoning, um, scrambled eggs, things like that for $4. A couple of packages of potato chips. And it looks like that is, that's our haul. So what do you think about those prices? All right, so once again, I am stocked up except for my hamburger. I thought I got six pounds of hamburger and I ended up with three. I'm not happy about that, but it'll be all right. So, okay, I'm gonna let you go. I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you soon.